Bishop T.D. Jakes, called perhaps the most influential black leader in America today by the Atlantic, is a master communicator, entrepreneur, entertainment impresario, philanthropist, and best-selling author who calls instinct the key to success. He is the senior pastor of the Potter's House, a 30,000-member non-denominational church in Dallas, Texas. His ministry's program, The Potter's Touch, is viewed by over 3.3 million viewers each week on cable networks including PET, TBN, Daystar, and the Inspirational Network. Bishop Jakes has taken his trademark teaching from the pulpit and delivered it straight to the readers in the pages of this inspiring book. He's a spiritual leader, humanitarian, and educator who has a special talent of bringing out the best in others. Instinct provides practical advice that will inspire many to embrace a new path on their way to leading extraordinary lives. Combining historical, cultural, and personal examples with biblical insights, in instincts, the power to unleash your inborn drive, Bishop Jakes outlines how to rediscover your natural aptitudes and reclaim the wisdom of your past experiences. He explains how everyone can find answers to some of the crucial questions in life using the gifts that God has given everyone, instincts. The book shares an amazing truth. Instincts, a powerful tool provided by God, they are part of our divine computer programming, which aids our survival. This is not the first book on instincts. Malcolm Gladwell wrote a wonkier version of the same book entitled Blink, The Power of Thinking Without Thinking. This, there is a plethora of scientific data pointing to the validity of following instincts. If you have ever felt misaligned, then this book is for you. If you have lost the rhythm, the passion, and the thrill of living in alignment, then keep reading. As he did with the very cells that comprises our bodies and the dry bones that were joined together for new life, God has given us deeper instincts to be attracted to those things that fit a higher and a better purpose. Never settle for less than God's best for your life. Some people have the courage to move beyond the ordinary, from the methodical mediocre into the revolutionary realization of where they belong. You can have this sense of belonging only when you connect to your core calling. The calling to creativity, the calling to teaching, to give, and to build are all parts of your instincts. Following this will help you reach the greatness that you aspire to. If you are ready to break through the confines of where you are and discover where you are meant to be, then instinct is your key. Instinct is a major factor in destiny. What a compass or GPS is to a pilot, instinct is to man. Using the illustration of man's development from a single fertilized cell that becomes the pluripotent cell which has the capacity to form all cell types in the living human, the author explains that each aspect of the pluripotent cell instinctively obeys in its orders to become the skin cells, bone cell brain cell, etc. without stress. Man was designed to operate in his own sphere, to be in sync with his inner wisdom, strengths, ability, talents, and unique contribution to the world. Instinct is your inner programming by God, and yet about programming unless man will be likened to a robot. It is about programming because it, it can evolve and silenced by your own actions. Like all of God's creations, we crave for the, our natural habitat, 
without or with little education. Every man craves for direction towards survival, safety, and fulfillment. Instinct is a map or a guide to these and more. Many are so frustrated or in abject poverty because they frequently neglected the guides from their inner man. Many are caught in wrong jobs, wrong marriage, wrong life, even though God predestined them to have a fulfilled life. God, the master designer, has equipped us with a fundamental instinct that draws us towards divine purpose. A Tiger Woods on the football field is just an ordinary man, but a genius on the golf course. The truth is this, a man out of sync is an ordinary man, and an ordinary man is a man out of sync with his instincts. When we talk about instincts, we are talking about the manual which defines you and tells you what you have and the style to succeed in life. Our instincts are the treasure map for our soul satisfaction. Individual instinct is distinct because we are not confronted with the same problems and challenges in life. According to Bishop Jakes, the challenges are pointers to our destiny and the problems we are born to solve. We must not run from our problems but confront them. This becomes more real through the different phases we go through in life and situations that confront us. He also made mention of the fact that instinct gives us our individual identity and displays our distinction. The book aims at bringing the reader to the point of appreciating his or her inner imprint and directions. A lot of people are trapped in living other people's lives. We have a lot of people who are duplicates of great people. We need some more originals because you see, you always lose resolution when you make copies. We need new breed of great people who follow their inner guts and produce results that we've never seen before. We need people that will follow their gut feelings and create some sort of originality in our world. Instinct by Bishop T.D. Jakes is one of the best books in my collection. And I'm grateful I read it at this stage of my life. You will do yourself a lot of good also if you decide to pick a copy of the book and read. Thank you. Whoa, whoa. What an amazing content. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to help with the YouTube algorithm.